This are the five most intelligent and educated tribe in Africa. Number 5. The Gurage tribe. The Gurage are a Semitic-speaking ethnic group inhabiting Ethiopia. They inhabit Gurage Zone and East Gurage Zone, a fertile, semi-mountainous region in central Ethiopia regional state, about 125 kilometers southwest of Addis Ababa, bordering the Awash River in the north, the Jibi River, a tributary of the Omo River, to the southwest, and Horadambal in the east. According to the 2007 Ethiopian National Census, the Gurage can also be found in substantial numbers in Addis Ababa, Oromia region, Harari region, and Dairi Dawa. Gurage is no doubt the fifth most intelligent and educated tribe in Africa. Number 4. The Lebu tribe. The Lebu are a subgroup of Wolof in Senegal, West Africa, living on the peninsula of Cap Vert, site of Dakar. The Lebu are primarily a fishing community, but they have a substantial business in construction supplies and real estate. They speak Lebu Wolof, which is closely related to Wolof proper but is not intelligible with it. The Lebu tribe is no doubt the fourth most intelligent and educated tribe in Africa. Number 3, the Venda tribe. The history of the Venda starts from the kingdom of Mapungubwe, 9th century, where King Shiriadenga was the first king of Venda and Mapungubwe. The Mapungubwe kingdom stretched from the South Pansberg in the south, across the Limpopo River to the Matapos in the north. The kingdom declined from 1240, and power moved north to the Great Zimbabwe Kingdom. The first Venda settlement in the South Pansberg was that of the legendary chief Thaho Yar Endu, head of the elephant. His royal kraal was called Dijata, its remains have been declared a national monument. The Mapangubwe collection is a museum collection of artifacts found at the archaeological site and is housed in the Mapangubwe Museum in Pretoria. Venda people share ancestry with Lobedu people and Kalanga people. They are also related to Sutuswana peoples Sutuswana and Shona groups. All these tribes were under the Venda kingdom. Venda are a Bantu people native to southern Africa living mostly near the South African Zimbabwean border. The Venda language arose from interactions with Sutu Swana and Kalanga initiates during the 15th century in Zimbabwe. Venda tribe is no doubt the third most intelligent and educated tribe in the Black Continent. Number 2. The Tutsi also called Watusi, or Abatutsi, are an ethnic group of the African Great Lakes region. They are a Bantu-speaking ethnic group and the second largest of three main ethnic groups in Rwanda and Burundi, the other two being the largest Bantu ethnic group Hutu and the Pygmy group of the Tua. Historically, the Tutsi were pastoralists and filled the ranks of the warrior's caste. Before 1962, they regulated and controlled Rwandan society, which was composed of Tutsi aristocracy and Hutu commoners, utilizing a clientship structure. They occupied the dominant positions in the sharply stratified society and constituted the ruling class. Tutsi is no doubt the second most intelligent and educated tribe in Africa. Number 1. The Igbo people, historically also Igbo, are an ethnic group in Nigeria. They are primarily found in Abia, Anambra, Abonye, Enugu, and Imo states, they can also be found in Delta, Rivers, Edo, Banu, Aqua Ibom, Cross River, Bielsa and Kogi, other ethnic Igbo populations are found in Cameroon, Gabon, and Equatorial Guinea, as indigenes and migrants respectively as well as outside Africa. There has been much speculation about the origins of the Igbo people, which are largely unknown. The Igbo people are one of the largest ethnic groups in Africa. The Igbo language is part of the Niger-Congo language family. Its regional dialects are somewhat mutually intelligible amidst the larger Igboid cluster. The Igbo homeland straddles the lower Niger River, east and south of the Edoid and Idomoid groups, and west of the Abibioid Cross River cluster. Before the period of British colonial rule in the 20th century, the Igbo were politically fragmented by the centralized chiefdoms of Miri, Aro Confederacy, Agbor and Anitsha. Frederick Lugard introduced the Ezi system of warrant chiefs. The Igbos became overwhelmingly Christian during the evangelism of the missionaries in the colonial era in the 20th century. In the wake of decolonization, the Igbo developed a strong sense of ethnic identity, with Christianity being the major religion and Islamic minorities. After ethnic tensions following the independence of Nigeria in 1960, the Igbos seceded from Nigeria and attempted to establish a new independent country called Biafra, triggering the Nigerian and Biafran War Millions of Biafran civilians died from starvation after the Nigerian military formed a blockade around Biafra, an event that international media promoting humanitarian aid for Biafra. Biafra was eventually defeated by Nigeria which was majorly backed by Britain, NATO, Arab League, USSR, and USA and reintegrated into the country. 
the movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra and the now Nigerian government prescribed indigenous people of Biafra IPOB two organizations formed after 1999 continue to struggle for an independent Igbo state. The Igbo tribe is no doubt the most intelligent and educated people in the black continent. I hope you learned something new today. Help us by subscribing to our YouTube channel, turn on the notification icon for more updates.